This method can help answer key questions in the field of endothelial biology, such as why do blood vessels have regional differences in the development of atherosclerosis. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows the simultaneous study of multiple conditions under shear stress or multiple shear stress conditions. The implications of this technique extend toward understanding endothelial gene regulation in both the arterial and venous systems because various flow rates and patterns can be used. Well, here we demonstrate a system that uses steady laminar flow. This setup can be adapted for other flow patterns, including disturbed flow. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle to maintain a continuous monolayer of cells throughout the duration of the experiment and to obtain consistent results between experiments. 24 hours before the analysis, count the human endothelial cells at an early passage and seed approximately 1 times 10 to the 6 cells in 1 milliliter of medium onto one fibronectin-coated glass slide per well of a 4-well cell culture plate. Allow the cells to adhere to the slide for 15 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. Then cover each slide with 3 milliliters of medium and place the plate in a cell culture incubator at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% CO2 for 24 hours. On the day of the experiment, fill the water tray of a large, heated, built-in environment with adjustable CO2 and heat, or beach incubator, with multiple shelves, internal electricity access, and glass doors. And confirm that adequate carbon dioxide is available for the experiment, and that the CO2 monitor is functional. To set up the flow chamber,